How's it going, my Backburner family? This is Lola Naka, the Backburner, and today we're going to play a game called Last Word. Apparently, this is a game where we live in a world where the person who has the last word can become the richest and the most famous. So, let's begin. I don't know how the story will go. Let's do this. No, after you, but surely, after you, after you, excuse me, gentlemen, this is the estate of Professor Chet Chatters, is it not? Oh, indeed, we've just arrived as well. Hey, the servant should be back out soon, milady. He'll see to letting you in. Don't wait up for us. Ah, huh. <sighs> I didn't expect to see this already. See what? Huh. This chit-chat wore off the words. You know, what those two fellows are engaging in right now. But surely, after you, all I see is a bit of discourse. Wordplay is common enough at social gatherings if not entirely expected. Hey. Yes, but have you never met Judge Boasting and Mr. McCall? <clears throat> I'm familiar with them, but we've never been formally introduced. Why? They continuously attempt to get the last word on each other. It's a pain to listen to. It's as if Whomever speaks last gets a big prize, or some such thing. <clears throat> That's exactly the point, young sir. Try not to play ignorant. This is a rather large estate. Only the best for Professor Shatters. Care to come inside? <sighs> what of the other two? If we wait for them, We'll be out here all evening, freezing our smiles off. Come along. He shut the door on us, and after inviting us in, can you believe the nerve? Huh. Oddly enough, I can. Hmm. Hopefully, the exceptional Professor Chatters will have a bit of... will have a bit more manners. You've never met, him, met with him either? I can't say that I have, but I couldn't refuse his invitation. This should be a fairly high profile gathering, if I'm not mistaken. It'll be a great boast for my position in the Meshibo Corporation. Oh, oh. It's due time we enjoyed our host, Mr. McCall. After you. Hey. Very graceful of you, Mr. Boasting, but I insist you lead the way. I couldn't possibly, Mr. McCall. Mr. Boasting, you simply must allow me the pleasure of letting you go first. After you. No, after you. See what I mean? <clears throat> you are a bit ignorant, aren't you? I'm witty gossip. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Seymour Seymour of Seymour House. Huh. A pleasure. What do you say we get inside before it gets much darker? Chapter 1 Hospita Hospitality or He Who Scoffs Last. Yada yada. <laughs> <clears throat> so, this is. Summer House, the estate of Professor Chatters. Of course. Why state the obvious? <sighs> Should it be obvious? I've never stepped foot in here before. Good point. You certainly haven't. I don't let just anyone enter this onto the property. <sighs> You're a bit judgmental for a servant. <clears throat> Possibly. Professor Chatters has strict guidelines for who can and cannot attend his little get-togethers. There are multitudes of dowdy figures vying to tumble through that front door. Sometimes, 
his guests have class. Other times, I must bite my tongue, like now, for example. Ooh, ooh, harsh words. Wow. Ooh, that stung. <laughs> huh. I don't suppose you've worked here long with an attitude like that. Hmm. I'm a professional, Mr. Seymour. I've been here quite some time, and I never forget a frumpy face. I'll be sure to add you both to my mental catalog of regular attendees. The others are up this way. Follow me. Are you ready? Hi. I suppose. This isn't exactly my forte. No? You don't mingle often? Uh. My mother handled most of these engagements. Key topic, say more house. Learn key topics to unlock lock topics. Interesting. Okay, okay. I wonder how the gameplay is going to be, be like in this game. She was the head of Seymour House. I was a bit sheltered myself. Huh. Maybe you'll pick up on some of her skills. I can only hope. But maybe a glass of wine first. Oh, he's gonna get drunk. He's gonna get drunk. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can I go in here? Oh, yeah. Oh, a save point. Save. Save. Oh, hey, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How do. Okay. Yeah. There's cats in here, right? That's a cat. Meow. It looks like there's a transparent bottle tucked far behind the glass. Ooh. I unlocked a topic. Okay. So I actually have to look around this this place in order to find more topics. The bottle on the bar is different from most of the others. Whoa, lock topic. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> hmm. There are a lot of wines to choose from on this shelf. There is a lot of lock topics. I hope that's a, that means it's unlocking, but it, most likely not. All right, let's go. Woo! Tonight promises to be interesting. Quite a few new faces. Myself included. Most certainly, you especially. And it's bothersome. I come to this, these parties for some real conversation, discussions, arguments, gossip. Honestly, miss. Gossip? Witty gossip. <laughs> so it's, it's gossip, but it's ga gossip. Gossip. <laughs> I know who you are. I'm being condescending. But as I was saying, Miss Gossip, was it? I don't think you have what it takes to hold your own here. <clears throat> You're serious? <gasps> I am. Do you disagree? I most certainly do. Excellent. Oh, what is this? Move the conversation cursor forward to get the last word. Okay. Higher levels have a greater starting advantage. Witty is 11 levels lower. Okay. Disruptive. Submissive. Aggressive. Okay, disruptive, subtle. Common. Well, this one moves me by two, so that might be good. Subtle. Oh. Oh, she pushed me back. You are at a loss for words. Oh, I lost already. What? Experience acquired one. Stored experience zero. Next level, I need two more experience. That was insanely hard what was that <clears throat> well it seems I left you speechless <sighs> <sighs> be a good girl and bring me a glass of that 20 year blank it's just delicious <sighs> <sighs> come now 
Show some class. Don't leave a thirsty woman awaiting her evening nip. Man. Man, I lost. Hmm. You can pour a glass of wine fairly well, at least. I commend you. Classy slurp that is in no way obnoxious. Hmm. Simply divine. Simply divine. Let's try a different voice for her. As you're no doubt aware, there's great power in the ability to get the last word in a conversation. In that brief moment of speechlessness, you were susceptible to my persuasive persuasions. It's a positively overwhelming feeling. It certainly is. You don't sound enthusiastic enough and it bores me to no end. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to strike up a conversation elsewhere. Find a lock icon to progress the story. Okay. What's in here? There's some... That's locked. Alright. Can I go in here? Nope, that's locked. Well... Oh, there it is. I'm a little surprised seeing you talk with Mrs. Prattle like that. You mean just now? What of it? It's just... I don't know. It's like watching a fight. I didn't expect you to take part in it. Level 1, Seymour House. We've just met Seymour. I don't know why you're already making expectations. Huh. You're, you're right. I guess I'm still a little bit flustered. Like I said before, my mother usually handled these affairs. Looks like I have a lot to learn. Well, teach the basics. Let him handle himself. Teach the basics. Let's be buddy-buddy. Disruptive is power. Submissive is tact. Aggressive is movement. It's, common discourse can be summed up by saying that whomever gets the last word wins. To move the conversation forward in the direction you like, you need to be careful. You need to carefully juggle three types of phrases. Well, we'll be simple. Let's start with a disruptive phrase. Okay, disruptive. Overt. The disruptive phrase garnered a small amount of power in the conversation. To really affect the discourse, we need tact. Now that we have some power, select a submissive phrase. But first, we'll give the opponent, the opposition, their turn. Ooh, okay, okay. Be a little bit submissive. Oh. All right. Oh, it re Oh, okay. Subtle. I don't want to go down too much. We're both irritated. The submissive phrase reduced power, but it gained tact. This tact is needed to be aggressive without losing face. We'll go ahead and say an aggressive phrase and watch the conversation truly start to move. Ah, removes tact. Oh, hey, let's do common. The more pegs shown over composure, the more the conversation moves forward when using aggressive phrases. Composure is important. If someone has damaged composure, they become more sus susceptible to aggressive phrases. Or, to be more clear, aggressive phrases move the conversation further if the listener has worse composure. Each phrase uses a tone, damage composure by using a stronger tone. Once the speaker chooses a phrase, 
they also commit to a tone. The chosen tone is shown as a shape below the person who used it. Balanced phrase chooses choices <coughs> based on resources, immediate effects on the conversation, and tones to get the advantage. More information can be read at the save point. Okay, so I guess we just finish this. Okay, we got we need more power. What was that? He's truly gaining some tact there. His blood is boiling. What's going on here? I'm frustrated. This is a... Uh, oh, no. Let's see. He's ready to burst. What, what's going on here? there hammer he's over the edge he's he's gonna blow up or something what's going on why is he why is he gonna blow up do I win The last word you can never speak too soon. Gain experience after this course. Experience is higher when winning than losing. Level 1. Experience acquired 2. Stored experience is 1. Next level I need 1. So that means... Level up! Nice. Yes. Oh, okay, that also means uh, my friend over here leveled up. You see it? You see it? Can you see the mouse? Yeah, he leveled up too! <laughs> Feel smarter? I suppose. Just remember, just try to remember the phrase. Civilitis civilititum. Oh. I'm never gonna remember that. <laughs> Say Laudum's model. La Laudens model. I never learned Latin. It's not Latin. It's complete gibberish to the finest degree, but everything has meaning. It works as a reminder that in a civilized world, it isn't what you say that matters, but how you say it. Civilitis civilitatem. <laughs> Our nation hasn't steered us wrong yet. I'll try to keep that in mind. Perhaps I'll start picking up on some of the finer points as I go along. Oh. And so I told the young lady that she could have my hat only if she put down the revolver. Brilliant tale, Mr. Bolsting. I'm sure that impoverished child you saved will never forget your deeds. Oh, ho. oh ho, he'd better not. Servant, when are we going to meet the professor? <clears throat> At breakneck speed, I assure you. Professor Chatters needs to finish setting up the equipment before the grand display. Ooh. Oh. And let's say you tell us what this new device of his is, eh? I've been sworn to secrecy, secrecy, as I'm sure you'd expect Judge Boasting, but your charm is noted. I encourage you all to mingle while we wait. The wine is out and court enjoy it. Oh, it looks like we must wait a bit longer, Mr. McCall. It seems to be that way, Mr. Boasting. 
care to grab a drink? Ew. I'd love to, Mr. McCall. After you. This, this is a small party. I'd expected a more varied crowd, didn't you? I guess. I never thought about it. But maybe more people will arrive. The night's young. Select a key topic and gossip with guests. Level up the topic or learn new ones. Shift key. Okay. Here. So I got two topics. The Seymour House and Newest Invention. Okay, let's choose that one. So... Gossip? There's not much to talk about, really. My mother was head of the house, and now it's me. Chatter? So this is what a party is like. Hmm. You're not familiar with parties? Not really. I don't host any, and the Seymours, the Seymours haven't really been invited to any since I became the master of Seymour House. Is this music a little loud? It is quite loud. <coughs> I'm going to leave it at this point, but I'm hoping this is not going to make the video sound very loud. Huh. Interesting. I suppose it explains why you're so shaky right now. Possibly, although I'm always a bit shaky. I'm a little tired, but I'm ready if you are. I am. Neat. I could really use the practice. You don't sound like you're up to the challenge. Hey. Don't confuse my intense fear with a lack of enthusiasm. I am the master of Seymour House, after all. In title, certainly, but you sound more like the servant of Seymour House. Oh, oh, that was horrible. Huh. I, uh, oh. Seymour, I thought we were engaging in discourse. You can't give up prematurely. Try it again. Huh. Ah, I get it. Then what I meant to say was, I disagree. Sweet. <laughs> we need immense power at the beginning. Oh, oh, you going with the moves already? You going with the moves already? We're going with the power right now. All right, all right. Uh gonna do this overt I'm already irritated that's bad oof you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta chill out guy you got to chill out oh uh. you have to chill out guy conversation our conversations going well but you need to step down He's getting ready to make some moves. He's getting ready, guys. Oof. All right. Maybe while I'm playing those, I should try to make up a conversation. <laughs> I'm just not good at improv like that. Woo! Level three. And I earn plus one bow? Or bow? Bow or bow? I don't know. Interesting. Okay. 
I hate to do this to you, but it has to be done. What do you think I should get for my trophy? Huh. Hmm. Well, you look spiffy in a bow in that bow tie. I agree, but I would like more than a compliment. Huh. Yes. What I mean is that I happen to have one you should take. It's handy, if nothing else. <clears throat> Very thoughtful, Seymour. I think I'll take that. Earned a bow. Now, keep practicing. You have some shaping up to do. Huh. I'll accept that challenge. Uh. Okay, cool. Okay, if I press this and switch the topic. Huh. Then actually... I couldn't possibly guess what the professor brought us here for. Maybe we should ask around. Okay, so Seymour's completely done. Nice, okay. Um, let's talk oh. to you. Ah, yes. The, C the Seymour house. Unimportant by the standards of the last few years, but not without interesting details. I'm positive Mr. Mrs. Prattle would have something to say about the former head of the house, but I doubt she'll talk about it here. Maybe once the night progresses, the wine will loosen her tongue. <laughs> Boasting house is known mostly for politicians and judges, but most of us enlist early on. You won't find truer, truer gentlemen because of our position, we've always been friendly with the McCalls. McCall House, in case you didn't know, is mostly administrative. Every, every courtroom in St. Loudon has at least one boasting and one McCall. Oh, that means you're Judge Boasting, correct? Should I call, should I be calling you Your Honor? Absolutely not. Call me as you would any other civilian. I only go by my title in the courtroom. How daring. I'm afraid I'm leagues ahead of you. You'd stand absolutely no chance. Don't make the same mistakes as Mr. McCall. Come see me later tonight if we're still here. Okay, okay, let's switch the topic. And then talk to the judge. Whoa. I'm quite excited to see what the immaculate Professor Cheat Chatters has in store for us. <laughs> I'm just as oblivious at, about this new experiment as you are. The professor has been known for his odd contraptions, but rarely does he hold a show. However, I expected his house to have a lot more sciencey things, sciencing about. This is all beyond me. Ooh, Chatter's history. A lot. Wait. This is the first time I've seen. <coughs> Whoa! Wow. Okay. This is the first time I've been to see the professor. And in fact, I'm not sure if anyone here has met him in person. All I really know about him is that he's a wildly inventive inventor. Luckily for us, his crazy devices aren't cluttering this fine lounge area. <clears throat> this party is getting dreadfully boring. I have the urge to leave. Chatter's history, level 2 unlocked. This party is getting dreadfully boring. I have the urge to leave. Okay. Alright. Uh, yeah, I guess. Hey, discourse! Didn't I already put you in your place? I came here for discourse, dear. Not to destroy the spirits of a young girl. Young girls, I might engage you properly in a few hours after I've had a few more glasses of wine. 
Okay, I need to change the combo. Alright, let's talk to her about this. The Seymour house, I'm all too familiar. It's a rather lesser house. That odd man with the glasses is the youngest member, if I'm not horribly mistaken. But I'd rather not talk about that lineage tonight. <clears throat> this party is getting dreadfully boring. Okay, she's just repeating herself right now. Okay. Alright, uh... The professor has a rich and fine history of gentlemanry, at least so I hear. He's rather reclusive. But he's quite brilliant, they say. His inventions have been used in the front lines of the blasted war. Of this blasted war! Same one, same topic, right? Right? You, who's pacing back and forth. Uh. I know very little about Chet Cheddars himself. What I do know is that he's well. I'll be more willing to talk about this after I've had a few drinks, I think. Sorry. Eh. The noble professor is quite the mystery, even to the Macaw house. Okay. Hey. Good evening, Miss Gossip. <sighs> Good evening, Mr. Macaw. I see you and Mr. Boasting are settling in well. Yes, we have a sort of history. He's a master conversationalist, I find. Verbally sparring with him works to my advantage. He allows me to keep up, I know. But one day, I hope to have as much social experience under my belt as he does. <clears throat> That's a rather simple aspiration. I've had no lack in aspirations thus far in life. Big or small, complex or simple, I have room for all of them. This course can be riveting shorts. This course can be a riveting sort of puzzle. Let me show you what I mean. Yes. What's your opinion on professional boxing? This sounds like a weighted conversation. Excuse me if I'm cautious. It's an expertise of mine, certainly. Although a new viewpoint is always welcomed. Then, if you must know, I think very little of it. Gee. You jest. <sighs> Saint Laudin was founded on the principles of diplomacy. Strength in words, not arms. Yeah. That's a modern fallacy compared to the origins of humanity or even Europe as a whole. We fought and struggled long before words existed. Boxing is a homage to our heritage. It harkens back to our origins, pitting one being against the... Oh gosh, sorry for the burp. Pitting one being against the other in close quarters. So much time and effort is placed into destroying another person, not just body, but pride and reputation. Eh. And you think that because the activity is physical, it's somehow less than, say, a highly regarded debate at a university? Hmm. Primal brutality can hardly compare to philosophical discussion. Hey. Allow me to assert the op opposite. Ooh, let's see. This guy, he's gonna be... He's gonna be... <coughs> we gotta go strong. Let's do this. Let's just gain the power in the beginning. So we can demolish him later. Oh! You already throwing punches? You already throwing punches? Let's slowly move back because I don't want you to get too far. Oh! I see what you're trying to get at. You trying to you trying to hurt me. You trying. You really, you really trying to get me angry. Oh! Oh! What was that? What was that? Oh! You- Oh my goodness. I- I'm not winning this one. This is getting bad. This uh... 
Let's get back into this. Oh, I'm ready to burst? What does that mean? I'm going to lose it. My composure is going to go away. What is going on? <laughs> what is this? What is going on here? Oh, I'm going to lose this. I'm going to lose this so bad. I'm losing this. He got me. Oh, beyond return. He got me mad. <laughs> Usually this is where I gl I'd gloat, but I find that it sours my chances for a proper date. Mm. Could I convince you into letting me show you around the McCall estate sometime? I'll consider it, Holden. Hey. Wait, General Sandoff? Who's that? Yo. Seymour House. Seymour House. Hmm. It seems I should know more about it, but I'm drawing a blank. Eh. Okay. <coughs> Seymour House. Uh huh. That woman's gonna be in my way again. Hey! Gossip. The professor's invention is as much a mystery to me as it is to you. However, Mr. Boasting here claims that the invention is without a doubt a military device. Yeah. You say the professor has made inventions for the military, my word. <gasps> this party is getting dreadfully boring. Yes, yes, yes. Woman, you're getting dreadfully boring. I, oh yeah, I didn't mean to press that. I meant this. Oh. I'm quite excited to see what the immaculate Professor Ch Chatters has in store for us. Could it be another prototype for the war? They say his invent previous invention was purchased by the military almost immediately. So you heard that the professor makes military devices? Interesting. Actually, now that I think of it, I remember my mother saying the professor chatters used to be a linguist for the military. Anyone else here? Who are you? And who is this in here that's like locked in this room? Who are you? Do I want to talk to you? Talk to banter. <laughs> Please wait patiently while the incredible professor finishes up his work. It seems a bit rude that he shouldn't be out to greet us himself, or that he shouldn't have his invention already prepared. If you knew what sort of device he has been working on, I'm sure you would eat your words. Newest invention. I need to learn more about the newest invention before the servant can be urged into hastening the professor's introduction. The other guests might know more about the topic if I gossip with them about the topic I already know. When I have the information I need, I should be prepared to hold discourse with the servant. Cool. All right. All right. Yo. The professor was a linguist. Interesting. Intriguing. Sorry. I bet Miss Prato would have something to say about that particular nugget of gossip. Oh. So you're aware that the professor used to be a linguist, eh? Oh, my word. This truly does excite me. I haven't had worthy discourse in years. A linguist like the professor is just what I need to test my merits. Wait, I need to talk to you. Wait! No! Stop! No! <laughs> I need this. <gasps> professor Chatters was a linguist? What a marvel! My husband is a linguist too. 
I wonder if it's possible that the professor's newest invention has to do with linguistics. Oh dear, my wrists are sweating at the thought. Actually, I think I may have heard about such a project in the news. Was it Professor Chatters who was working on communication technology? Ooh. Can you imagine how the war would turn in our favor if our dear linguists had better gear? This has gone from drab to exciting. Wait, I'm not done with you! <laughs> Keep pressing the wrong button! Yeah. Okay. Let me, let me be. Okay. We haven't been here long. A woman of your position might find excitement in a such dull gathering, but we Prados have a much higher standing. I haven't been to a party with so few people and such little drama since I was a girl. There isn't even mu any music. What are you talking about? I have this music blaring in my ears the whole time. <laughs> what about the wines? Do they meet your standards? The wines are surprisingly quite fine. That is, except for the Ambleton. Al Ambleton. You can find a bottle of Ambleton in any cellar these days. On a whole, Chatters needs to work on his hosting skills. How he managed to maintain Chatters house this way is beyond me. Although when I think on it, he really hasn't hosted any parties that I know of. Ooh, social event. I, I, ex I gained experience through that. Nice. Okay, stop moving. <sighs> I know very little about Ch Chatters himself. What do I, I do know is that, well, he's... I'll be more willing to talk after a few drinks. Then drink up already! Drink! Oh. Let's have another discourse. You look smashing this evening. Any chance I could take up some of your time? Yes! I didn't think I still had the touch, but our last conversation made me feel like a boxer again. Um. I'm not one to give up on a fight. That's what I like to hear. I'm gonna destroy you this time. We're gonna start with movements. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. I need to hurt you early on. Stop hurting me. What is that? What was? What is this? Yo, yo, boyish charm. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Wait, you got a skill called Boyish Charm? Alright, whatever. Gotta hurt you early on. Gotta irritate you. Gotta make you make you make you mad. Gotta make you mad. Oh wait, what? Aggressive. Gotta gotta frustrate you beyond belief. How are you kissing yourself? Yes, yes, gotta make you angry. Stop it! He's ready to burst, guys. He's ready to burst. He's getting angry. This can't. This can't. This can't. Eh. No. No. We gotta do. This. We gotta do something about this. We gotta do something about. It. He's over the edge. He's just over the edge. He, I'm ready to burst. He's ready to burst. We're all ready to burst. Let's do this. Gotta do something about this. Yeah, oh no. No, he's gonna hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh, stop kissing yourself, man. Come on. Let's do something that, that gets a man. He's be he's beyond. He's beyond it. What is going on here? I'm over the edge. Alright, oh come on, come on. Oh 
Oh my gosh! We're both so angry. How did I get mad from that? I think I'm gonna lose this one. Holy moly. I don't think I'm gonna win. <laughs> oh no, holy moly. Holy moly. With what? That was like just half. <laughs> all right, all right, you're too strong for me. Usually, this is where I gloat. Uh, we already uh. read this. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Topics. New topic. Topic. Uh. Rumors are spreading that the professor is building a communication device. Seems a little far fetched, but we'll see soon. I'm quite excited to see what the immaculate Professor Chit Chatters has in store for us. Could it be another prototype for the war? They say his previous adventure was purchased by the military almost immediately. Word spreading that its great invention has some bearing on how we communicate. Simply riveting. <laughs> Simply riveting. <laughs> Imagine how much of a grand linguistic device could aid us out of the uh, on the field. My hubby would come home in no time. I think that's enough information that I needed. Can I? Yeah. Can why? Look. Yeah. Okay. These topics are still unknown, so I don't think I could unlock these yet. We're saving real quick. Yeah, okay. I still only have the three topics. All right. If I look around, can I see, can I f find more topics? Maybe I should pour myself a glass of, okay. Something is up with this wine. Why is it always on? <laughs> All right, all right, just. What? A lot of these books are historical. The fall of the House of Gossip. I don't see what I could gain from reading such blather. This small selection of books deals primarily with military history. Here. So there's topics everywhere. Get out of my way! <laughs> What? <laughs> what an odd design. Part copper, part rubber. Newest invention? I just unlocked it. Wait, more conversation, please. Oh, okay, never mind. Who is this in the bathroom? Get out. Okay, I think I have enough. Please be wait patiently. Finishes up his work. All right. Already? Did, did I not already unlock this? I think I did. I'm not rereading all of this. Oh wait, we're already in a what? <laughs> Diligent idol. Okay. All right. Um. Gotta get him angry quick. Why am I irritated already? Okay. I think that's more than enough. Oh my god, I'm already way too high. I'm 
ready to burst already. Difficult fight. I wasn't. I wasn't expecting this. I lost. I lost. <coughs> We're not leaving this area till I beat him. Mm hmm. And that Miss Gossip is how you get the last word in a conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, now, if y'all be so kind, go back to the party. Enjoy yourself. Maybe go wait by the table until the professor is ready. I'm moving by myself. Can I get wine? <sighs> nope, not yet. Huh. Wanna have another discourse? This wine is getting to my head, so... Uh, sorry, I'm not trying to make excuses. Please help me practice. I figured out that if I pay close attention, I can see which skills my opponent is using. I plan on using this in to my full advantage. Sweet. <sighs> Paid attention. Wow. Come like he's like collected the whole time. <coughs> he's getting me super angry. How come I was able to choose something that I shouldn't be able to choose? Time to get aggressive. Seriously, what, what's going on here? Finally, he's irritated. Okay, he's frustrated. We're doing we're making we're making moves now. I'm 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 gonna lose. He, he's gotten stronger, guys. This is not good for us. Well, he's going to lose. Oh. All right. This is, uh, this is not easy. This is actually getting harder as we go along. Didn't think he was going to get stronger that quick. I think you get the idea. I have no intentions of belittling you any further. But seriously, Seymour, you need to step up your game. Yes, of course. I'll do just that. <laughs> Didn't I already demolish ya? Yes, you did. I'm never going to get out of here. Eee. Can I defeat you now? Please. Oh, oh, oh! I started up. <laughs> Woo! Oh, hey. We just need to start. Oh, no. Oh gosh. 
Yo. Yo. Yes, gotta gotta irritate this guy. Stop kissing yourself, man. Stop using those boyish charms. Nice, okay. We really need to get on the offensive here. didn't see that was about to lose but we finally did it guys we beat this guy we beat mr holdem mccall who is level three and we're witty gossip gossip at level four yes we just leveled up again and i earned another bow yes yes yeah <clears throat> now that's that now that that's settled I like you to empty your pockets. Man, I'm just a thief. Just, like, give me what you have. I beat you in a conversation. Give me what you have. Hmm. I would say that you're the first person interested in emptying my pockets. But my firm, formal manager, is currently vacationing in Majorca. I'm not interested in your money. I'm not a, th a train robber. But I will take that bow. Yo. That's all? Go right ahead. I brought as a much better bow. A much better tie to wear. Earn the bow. Hmm. I'll put this to good use. Hey. I have no doubt. Alright. How daring. I'm afraid I'm leagues ahead of you. Come see me later tonight. Alright. Quick save. Quick shave. Eight percent of the story completed. Are you drunk enough yet? Are you drunk enough yet? Stop running. Yeah. Okay, you're not drunk enough yet. Alright. All right, let's let's do this. I'm ready. <clears throat> You've grown tired again, I see. Yes, I, I have. And I would like to destroy you. I just want to speak to the professor. Mm -hmm. Not an issue, that is. Not an issue if you can convince me that I have to listen to what you say. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. And mine. Let's do this. Let's do this. He's starting off... What up? Maybe we could get him angry early on. Nope. Okay. At least we got the movement and we got the. We got, why am I angered already? What is going on here? All right. Get another movement on him and maybe not angry at all. What is your problem, dude? How? <coughs> what is your problem, dude? Serious? Mr. Calm and Collective. Serious? Dude. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Full power. All that po How are you getting me angry by just My goodness. My goodness. 
It's probably better to go subtle every time. But I do, I do waste more time doing it. Hmm. Let's just go all out. You get angry yet? Nope. Oh my. Oh le mole. Angered yet? Why is he so calm and collective? What is going on? <laughs> Diligent idol. Wow. You gotta get angry at some point. Seriously, you got to get angry at some point. Wow, he's so collected right now. This is bad on my part. This is really bad. I'm going to get demolished. <laughs> oh, finally, irritation's coming on. I think I lost, though. I already lost. He got this. Holy mole. <laughs> and that miss gossip is how you end the lat how you get the last word in the uh, conversation. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I lost again. All right. You got any more Ooh. fighting fighting you? Come on. Yes, let's just let's do this. Let's go. You got you got you got any more fighting you? Let's let's just go. I need, I need a lot. <coughs> All right. Let's, let's get started. I'm irritated already. When did I get irritated? Get ready. Maybe I should get ready too. Oof. You got me? You got me? You getting me? Oh. Oh. Yeah, my last nerve, boy. He, I think he's gonna demolish me if I don't get going. I'm going to destroy you.
plus oh, he gained a level. I think you get the idea. I have no intentions of belittling you. Huh. Let's do this again. You need to help me get better. Wish I could speed this fight up. Let's go. Okay, you're irritated. Good. I'm going to get irritated. We're going to both be irritated right now. Okay, you're not irritated. Going to get some movement in on you. You irritated me with that. So it's it's all fine. It's fine and dandy. Yep, yep. I'm full. I'm full. Ready for action. Ooh, you frustrated me. Frustration. Now you frustrated? Yep. What? He's getting ready to demolish me. I feel it. All right. Time to do this. We're both ready to burst. Now you're over the edge. I just need huh. more power. Huh. Huh. Just, just do it. Come on. Help me. Help me out here. Let me get stronger. You're getting good at this, Master Seymour. Seymour. You're getting good at this. You're you're the only one I can I can count on right now. You're the only one I can count on. No one else. No one else but you. No one else. He's getting me. He's getting me good. I'm kind of scared that if I leave it there, he's going to get me. Yeah, he would have won if I left it there. this yes mm. oh yeah Getting way too good at this guy. I'm not liking it. Not liking it at all. Mm, mm, mm. So close to leveling up. So close to leveling up.
Hey. One more time, guy. One more. Then I'm going to challenge the butler again. You're getting more and more difficult every time, though. You do know that, right? You do know that, right? What? Already? Okay. All right. You, like, gain some abilities? Do I gain abilities? Do I gain any abilities? Oh, my ears feel much better. I forgot I could lower the volume. <laughs> That's ridiculous of me. <laughs> it's not it's not hurting my ears anymore. <laughs> Wait, what did I do? Oh, okay. Man, he's he's more calm and composed this time. This is getting more difficult. This is definitely getting more difficult. I don't know if I'm going to beat this time. I need to step up my game quick. He's, he's, he's getting ready. All right. Here goes nothing. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to blow. Oh, man, he probably won this. Oh, my gosh. I'm over the edge. <laughs> oh, my God. <coughs> I can't take this. Can't take this. He need to do something or he's going to lose. Okay. I'm grateful that you're not trying to demolish me. Because you could have. Could have done it. Uh. All right. Now we gotta test my merit by challenging uh. this dude again. And if I could easily defeat him this time. Oh yeah! Look at that! Look at my level! Look at my level! Level, 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 level. I'm gonna always start with this one because I need it. I need this. He can start off with like those attacks off the bat. Oh my goodness. You need you need to you need to you need to you need to back off guy. You need to back off. How dare you box a lady like this? Oh yeah. Oh my. This guy. Okay. Time to get. Oh my goodness. Your boyish charms, they're overwhelming me. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. When can I have such abilities. I'm like, oh my gosh. Serious. <laughs> Seriously. Do something about this. I'm gonna lose at this point, right? I should have, oh, I should have did something. I should have did something else. No, no, no. Come on, get him angry. Anger him. Oh no. Holy moly. Why? Why? <laughs> oh, beyond return. Oof. Oof.
Oh my goodness, Mr. Hold'em. Mr. Hold'em. Let's just try this now. Yes, I grew tired. Please, let's do this. I want to defeat you. I'm gonna just keep going with the same one. Try to move two every time. Maybe he'll get angry. He likes doing that. Mm. Oh, are you serious? I'm so close. So close. So close. All right, this is this is getting crazy. I'm going to lose right this instant. I'm I, I lost. He he did overkill on me. <laughs> Yes, yes. Yes. Can I just leave this party? Can, can, can I just leave? This is painful right now. <laughs> Let me go. Let me go. <laughs> you. You will discourse with me again and again. Until I probably can't win anymore. Which is gonna be sad. Already irritated. See that? See that? He's paying attention. Really good now. It was too soon for that guy. Too soon. <laughs> Too soon for that guy. Why are you still going with the disruptive? Oh, you're getting me. You're getting me angry. All right. Mm. 
Yes. I think I can win this. He's getting really difficult. I don't like this Seymour. I don't like this Master Seymour. You're, you're making this even more difficult for me. <clears throat> Master Seymour. You're you're not you're you're not you're not being easy on me anymore. Yeah, my nerves. I'm trying to take you out quick. To leave you speechless, Master Seymour. Seymour, huh. Seymour. Huh. Frustrated easily now. You see this? Oh. Oh. Master Seymour, you messed up. You messed up! <laughs> yeah! I'm trying to take you out fast now. I don't know what these bows are about. Let's go save quickly. Let's go save quickly. I like how this room is dimmed out until I enter it. So am I still at 8%? Still at 8% completed story. I'm at hospitality. That I've been playing for an hour? My goodness! This is not fun at all! Please, let me beat you! Seriously! Mm -hmm. You've grown tired again, I see. Yes, I have! Let me continue the story! <laughs> I just want to speak to, prof to the prof <coughs> <coughs> I just want to speak to the professor. Not an issue. That is not an issue if you can convince me that I have to listen to what you have to say. Why is my phone trying to respond to my words? Hmm. My pleasure <clears throat> and mine. <laughs> Greatly my pleasure. I don't... I don't care. All right, all right. This guy, he he likes to irritate. <laughs> 
This is his game plan. Irritate me and then take me out. I need to take him out quick. And I could do it if I do it now. Come on. No. Go back. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. One more. One more. Okay, we can do it. 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 Yes. He messed up. He messed up. We won. No. Stop. Yes. You messed up, dude. Yeah. Woo. 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 Did it. Did it. Mm. Well, I believe I made my point pretty clear. Now, would you kindly introduce us to the professor already? Hmm. Mm. As you wish, my lady. Oh, my lady. What's taking him so long? Uh. I just had a discussion with a latecomer, General Sandoff. Intriguing woman. I think I'm beginning to understand the more complex nature of what Mother did. Did you get the last word? Huh. Absolutely not. She ordered me to do 20 push-ups after a word. <laughs> I suppose we all have our weak moments. Doubly so here. Seeing this environment and that servant is making my head spin. <sighs> Speaking of which, that servant is highly peculiar, to say the least. I'm beginning to have weird feelings about this invention. Hmm. <coughs> the professor would like to thank you all from the bottom of his heart for waiting as patiently as you have. And for those of you who have been rather impatient, well, I suppose you should be thanked as well. Where's the professor? And where's this marvelous adventure, invention of his? You see, over the last few years, the professor has been contracting his inventions out to the St. La Loudon Armed Forces. Ooh, new topic. He himself was a colonel. 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 Colonel? In the forces many years back. And he's never lost his depths of patriotism. Patriotism. However, his designs are fragile things. They can not be shown to just anyone. They must be carefully tested. You mean to say, it's my turn to speak, General. Let's not lose our manners in the face of excitement. Spare us the rig morale. Rig Morole. <coughs> Such weird and complex words. Get on with it. Fine. Let us get directly to what you all came here to see. May I present to you. Gosh, that thing is creepy. Welcome, all. I have gathered you here to show off and test my latest, my newest creation. I lovingly call it the mouth. Yes, it's the mouth. Besides being all inducing and beautiful to gaze upon, the mouth is, as you can plainly see, a unique communication device. It's a bit odd. You may be saying to yourself that it seems a bit odd, and to that I scoff heartily. <laughs> scoff! Scoff! You see, through a mixture of linguistic genius and electromechanical engineering, I've created a machine that can engage in discourse. It has all of the nuanced persuasion of any human, the charisma of a politician, the subtlety of an actor, the guilt of paternal in-laws. All of this and more, controlled by me and without filter. So you see, 
None of you should leave until you've enjoyed my vintage wines. You simply must give them their due. And with that, I wish you all a good evening. <laughs> I do say, these wines look marvelous, but I can't take away the host's honor of the very first class. After you. Oh, my dear sir, she said, after you. Dear heavens, he can't hear us. He's gotten the last word in. Hmm, it's a one-way intercom of sorts. I've seen these before in the trenches. Highly advanced technology, I'll bet only prototypes. Marvelous, marvels beyond convention. Oh, oh. that mad genius. Now we can't leave until we've sampled all of his wines. Brilliant, simply brilliant. Well, you heard the man, the fellow, Mr. McCall. Let me pour you a glass of this Ambleton. Yeah. Of course, after you. Of course. No, after you. Not so fast, servant. I demand that you tell the professor that we are not his lab rats, his lab animals. This experiment must be shut down immediately. General, I appreciate your service, but I can't tolerate your tone. It hurts my sensitive ears. <laughs> this is no joke. I won't have the professor rendering us speechless like we're... Hmm. Like we're the enemy, perhaps. Well, I assure you, General, you're not the enemy. And this device is hardly for our enemies. Now, do as the professor commanded. I'm sure he'll have more to say as the evening progresses. This game is much longer than I expected it to be. I was hoping to finish it within an hour. <sighs> Why are we both in the bathroom? Why are we in the washroom? Isn't it obvious? I don't want to be anywhere near that mouth thing. There's no way it can hear us in here. <clears throat> it can't hear us at all, Seymour. <sighs> what, are you, what are we going to do? Unfortunately, we don't have many options. I plan to enjoy the wine and mingle. You? This talking thing is rough. How was I not aware of how the world works for so long? In the richer houses, it's not that uncommon, Seymour. Boasting, prattle, they've all been guilty of sheltering their children. What about Gossip House? Gossip House is now defunct. You could probably stand to do some research on the other houses. Your ignorance is tactless. Oof. Hey. Yeah, I know. I need to grow up. I'm a pretty bad master of Seymour House. But I'll figure it out. I feel like I'm growing with every bit of discourse. And I'm learning a few tricks. Hmm. Don't make this an emotional moment, Seymour. Seymour. I shouldn't have to keep reminding you that. We've just met. Plus, we're in a washroom. <sighs> Sorry, I'm still in the process of partying up. This mouth thing is messing with my my head. I'm finally learning the ropes, and now I've I'm stopped in my tracks by some wild invention. Well, we'll just have to keep our heads up and our wits about us. Try not to worry so much. <sighs> I'll try. <laughs> Chapter 2. Hostility. More than one way to enjoy wine. So this is where we're going to call it. Guys, this has been Lola Knuckle the Backburner playing Last Word. I apologize for such... Where, where's the save point? Where's the save point? <laughs> where... How can, wait, 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 how, wait, 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 oh, there it is, oh, you scared me, you scared me, all right, guys, this is Lola Knock on the back burner, that's a cute elephant, and those are lips for statues, that's, those are weird, that is weird, yes, weird, okay, guys, this has been Lola Knock on the back burner, playing the last word, 
We'll have to make this an episodic type of thing. We just got into chapter two, hostility. So with that being said, thank you so much for joining. No matter what your time zone may be, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Bye-bye.